what do you mean by acquired diseases the diseases which we acquire in our during our lifetime congenital diseases diseases which are present right from the birth when you draw the diagram for an antibody molecule make sure you don't miss out writing the disulfide bond what type of cancers that are treated through alpha interferons it might be leukemia that is blood cancer lymphoma and skin melanoma that is the skin cancer hi hello everyone welcome back to at another revision session of chapter 7 of second pc biology called human health and diseases myself bishobarani from the department of biology vidyashram pre university college the temple of excellence in mysuru we all know that how important health is for a human being what is health according to who that is world health organization it is complete well being what do you mean by complete well being it is complete well being in physical mental and social well being and this particular chapter called human health and diseases has a weightage of 13 marks so what am i going to discuss in this particular session i am going to discuss about the important concepts and the type of questions that might be probably asked from this particular chapter called human health and diseases in the board examination moving on to the flow chart classification of diseases diseases have been broadly classified into infectious diseases and non infectious diseases infectious diseases can also be called as communicable diseases and non infectious diseases can also be called as what non communicable diseases so infectious diseases that which spreads from person to person non infectious diseases that which do not spread from person to person so infectious diseases you can give good number of infectious diseases some to name a few aids common cold malaria tuberculosis etc then non infectious diseases that which do not spread from one person to another person that is cancer hypertension and diabetes moving on to the life cycle of plasmodium this is a very very important question which will be asked in the board examination so this is the uh, very important as we all know plasmodium is the causative agent for causing malaria so this is the life cycle which depicts mosquito bites human and the sporozoites which is the infective stage are injected and parasites reach the liver through blood and they multiply through asexual reproduction and get accumulated in the liver cells bursting cells release into the blood then asexual reproduction in rbc takes place bursting rbcs release a toxin called hemozoin which is very much responsible for the cycles or for the cause of chill that is cycles of fever and other symptoms then gametocytes that is the asexual stage it will take place in the rbcs then the female mosquito sucks the blood blood with gametocyte then we can see the fertilization and development taking place in the mosquito's intestine then the mature infection stage which is we call it as sporozoites escape from intestine and migrate to the mosquito salivary gland so when the mosquito bites on the the human being this is how it is circulated so there are two hosts in the life cycle of plasmodium one is the human host and the other one is the mosquito host so life cycle of plasmodium is very important from examination point of view moving on to the types of diseases already i explained uh we here again we classify them into acquired diseases and congenital diseases what do you mean by acquired diseases the diseases which we acquire in our during our lifetime congenital diseases diseases which are present right from the birth so acquired diseases again as i said infectious and non infectious then infectious again you can classify them into bacterial diseases diseases which cause through bacteria fungal diseases like for example bacterial diseases like typhoid pneumonia fungal diseases which is caused through fungi like ringworm viral diseases like common cold dengue then helminthic diseases has been no helminths ascariasis and elephantiasis protozoan diseases like malaria and amebiasis moving on to the mcqs that is the multiple choice questions that might be probably asked here i have just given one example like 
what type of mcqs might be asked from this particular chapter called human health and diseases which is having a weightage of 13 marks the disease chikungunya is transmitted by option a house flies option d b aids mosquito option c cockroach and option d female anopheles so we all know the disease chikungunya is caused by aids mosquito so the option b is the right answer so this is how the mcqs might be asked from this particular chapter called human health and disease so the, there are lots of concepts to be learnt in this particular chapter so based on that concepts the mcqs are framed and it's very important for you all to score in the multiple choice questions moving on to question number 2 right this is a split question for two mark a question write the infectious forms of plasmodium which enter human body through mosquito bite second draw a neat label diagram of structure of an antibody molecule so the infectious forms of plasmodium which enter human body through mosquito bite is called as what sporozoa it's already i explained in the life cycle next this is the structure of an antibody molecule and it is a y shaped structure with four chains with two small chains called light chains and two long chains called heavy chains so the small chain the light chain is made up of around 400 amino acids and whereas the light chain is made up of the 200 250 amino acids which is held together by disulfide bond so this is so here you can see the heavy chain and the light chain held together by the disulfide bond this is very very important so here you can see the antigen binding site so when you draw the diagram for an antibody molecule make sure you don't miss out writing the disulfide bond which is very very important concept for you all so this is a very important diagram for you all from examination point of view which is asked for two marker question so this is like a question which is like if you go through the previous question papers actually in this particular session and in each and every revision session i have made sure that the questions which are repeatedly asked in the previous questions and papers has been discussed so that you will get to know how important these questions are from examination point of view so this is one such question which is usually asked in the examination to draw a neat label diagram so whenever you draw a diagram make sure you write the labelings next name the disease caused by the following organism so this is a five marker question so this is see when make sure you try to attempt such questions even for a five marker question it's not necessary that you will be asked a descriptive type of questions so split questions will be asked like this and this is scoring for you all also and it is easy to answer so it's not a lengthy answer and it is answer to the point where you will be able to score all the full five marks so name the disease caused by the following entamoeba histolytica a b epidermophyton c salmonella typhi d acheria malai E plasmodium vivax. So one, two, three, four, five. For example, among the five, if you answer four correctly, you get four marks. If three are correct, three marks. Two are correct, two marks. One mark is correct, one mark. So this is like more scoring for you all. So try to attempt such questions which is asked like this, split questions. So which will be easy for you all and it is time saving also for you all. So entamoeba histolytica. What is the disease it causes? Amoebiasis or amoebic dysentery. epidermophyton ringworm disease salmonella typhi typhoid disease wisteria malaria either it's called filariasis or elephantiasis plasmodium vivax malaria so this is how the five marker question split questions are asked moving on to the next question write the scientific name of the plant from which cocoa alkaloid is obtained that is erythroxylum coca which is also called as coke or crack so erythroxylum coca next write an example for autoimmune disease the answer is rheumatoid arthritis next mention two examples for for primary lymphoid organs bone marrow and thymus mention the common approaches for the treatment of cancer so what are the common approaches that are implemented to treat cancer either through surgery or through radiation therapy or through immunotherapy then this is also a very important question from examination point of view this the schematic representation of the replication of retrovirus which causes aids right so retrovirus viral rna core infects 
what the normal cells and the normal cell is introduced into the cell into a cell viral rna and viral rna, RNA is produced by what by reverse transcriptase and by and it is converted into viral dna which gets incorporated into the host genome so here you can see new viral rna is produced by the infected cell and new viruses are produced so here you can see how new viruses can infect other cells so this is a schematic representation of the replication of retrovirus which causes aids so this is very very important um, diagram schematic diagram from examination point of view which is asked for three marker question or if it is asked with explanation it might be for five marker question next cancer question number nine cancer patients are given substances called alpha interferon why alpha interferon is a biological response modifier used to treat certain types of cancer what type of cancers that are treated through alpha interferons it might be leukemia that is blood cancer lymphoma and skin melanoma that is the skin cancer then from which plant cocaine is obtained already I explained erythrozylum coca what is allergy name the two drugs used to reduce the symptoms of allergy so this is again for two marker question which is very important what is allergy how do you define the word called allergy then the exaggerated response of the immune system to certain antigens present in the environment it might be an animal dander or a pollen grain etc etc so the, those are called as what antigens the exaggerated response of the immune system to certain antigens present in the environment is called allergy so name two drugs used to reduce the symptom of allergy what are the two drugs drugs you call it as antihistamine drugs what are they like adrenaline steroid quickly reduce symptoms of allergy next question number 12 so question number 12 is a five marker question so this is for two marks mention any two physical carcinogens two mark what is active immunity one mark so differentiate between benignant tumor and malignant tumor benignant tumor they are localized so they don't spread from one place to another place whereas malignant tumors are not localized they spread from one place to another place there is no metastasis that is multiplication and they don't spread to the other areas metastasis does occur exhibit compensative growth growth is invasive then they do not show anaplasia what is an formation of abnormal cells they show anaplasia then growth rate relatively very slow very rapid growth simple surgical removal solves the problem surgical removal of the tumor does not solve the problem because fresh tumors keep appearing so compared to benignant tumor malignant tumors are much dangerous relatively harmless whereas malignant tumors could be fatal so these are the differences so it is asked for two mark a question you can give four four very important differences between benignant tumor and malignant tumor next question split question mention any two physical carcinogens what are carcinogens cancer causing agents are called carcinogens so what are the physical name two physical carcinogens so physical carcinogens might be ionizing radiation like x rays gamma rays non ionizing radiations like uv rays next split question is what is active immunity the antibodies are produced in the host body when a host is exposed to antigens which may be in the form of living or dead microbes or other proteins is called active immunity moving on to question number 13 name the disease caused by the following organ this is for three marker question again i told it is a split question so try particularly from this particular chapter called human health and diseases questions appear like this for the split questions may it be for five marker question or for three marker question it's very easy for you all to answer and even scoring will be more easy for you all than writing a descriptive type of questions because it is just answer to the point name the disease caused by the following rhino virus causes what common cold then ocheria bancrofti filariasis or elephantiasis then hemophilus influenza pneumonia streptococcus pneumonia or hemophilus influenza also causes what pneumonia so three marker question so very easy for you all though this question three marker question will be an essay type question for you all but 
you if you have like this split questions please try to attempt such questions where you are not only saving the time scoring is also very easy for you all next question number 4 14 define immunity and name two different types of immunity so what is immunity then as we all know immunity is very important for a person to fight against the disease causing organism so as and when your immune system goes down obviously a person will be prone to diseases so what is immunity the overall ability of the host to fight the disease causing organisms conferred by the immune system is called immunity types of immunity what are the types of immunity innate immunity and acquired innate immunity is right from the birth right from the birth the antibody that we get from the mother's milk from there on only we will start developing and the innate immunity and there and acquired immunity during our lifetime we take some vaccinations that is called acquired immunity next describe measures taken to control alcohol and drug abuse in adolescence so this is also a five marker question which is very important this is a very important question even from to make the society a very healthy society so this is one such question so what are the measures taken to control alcohol and drug abuse in adolescence so prevention and control measures of drug and alcohol abuse first one avoiding undue prior pressure education and counseling seeking help from parents and peers looking for danger signs seeking professional and medical help avoiding undue peer pressure how do you explain this concept every child has his own choice and personality and therefore should not be pressurized to perform beyond his limits in any activity so we should not pressurize the children much so that they may get into such alcohol or drug abuse education and counseling very very important proper education and counseling is a must for the adolescents so that they will be on the right track and they will not get into alcohol and drug abuse so education and counseling the child should be educated and counseled to face problems and stresses and to accept disappointments and failures so once a child gets disappointed or has any failures in life will go to Uh, the mercy of alcohol and drug but that is very bad so proper counseling should be done to the children so that they can take up the failures and the disappointments as a pos in a positive manner he should be encouraged to take up healthy hobbies like music reading sports etc next seeking help from parents and peers yes of course parents are the best friends for a child so they can help their child to come out of such depressions or disappointments or failures so seeking help from parents and peers the child should seek help from parents and close friends to solve if at all a child has some problem he or she has to discuss it with either the parents and or the uh, or their close friends so that they can come out of the problem looking for danger signs is of course any child who is addicted to this alcohol or drug will come out with certain symptoms so whenever we come across these symptoms we need to identify them and find a solution for it looking for danger signs so parents and teachers are the best people to identify the danger signs of a child who is addicted to uh, control or uh, who is addicted to alcohol and drug abuse so parents teachers and friends should be alert to identify danger signs associated with drug and alcohol abuse so that appropriate remedial measures or treatment can be initiated next seeking professional and medical help affected individuals should seek the help of qualified psychologists and psychiatrists and also de addiction and rehabilitation programs to come out of the problem so all these are the very important measures that need to be taken to control alcohol and drug abuse in adolescents next 16th question write the infectious form of plasmodium which enter human body through mosquito bite that is sporozoites next already i explained what is allergy name the two chemicals released by mast cells in the body during allergy already i explained what is allergy but the two name we have to name the two chemicals released by the mast cells in the body during allergy the exaggerated response of the immune system to certain antigens present in the environment so what are the two chemicals that are released histamine and serotonin very important question number 18 what are carcinogens what are carcinogens cancer causing agents are called carcinogens mention any two groups of carcinogens with one example for each so what are carcinogens 
transformation of normal cells into cancerous neoplastic cells induced by agents. Agents are cancer causing agents is called carcinogens. So how do you classify them? Name, mention any two group, groups of carcinogens, physical agents, chemical agents and biological agents. What are the physical agents? What are the examples you are going to give for physical agents? Ionizing radiations like X-rays, gamma rays and UV rays. Chemical agents, tobacco smoke, the chemical that comes out from the tobacco smoke. Biological agents, oncogenic viruses. This is also very important from examination. So pertaining to cancer, some one or the other question will be definitely asked in the question paper. Next, question number 19. Mention the role of alpha interferons in treatment of cancer. So what is the role of alpha interferon? Alpha interferons activates the immune system of cancer patient and helps in destroying the tumor. Next question number 20. Mention the four barriers of innate immunity with an example for each. Physical barrier, physiological barrier, cellular barrier and cytokine barrier. Physical barrier, what are the examples you are going to give for physical barriers? It might be mucus coating of epithelium, physiological barrier, acid in stomach, saliva in the mouth and tears from eyes. Cellular barrier, barriers, WBC that is white blood cells, natural killer cells, NKC and macrophages. Then cytokines, interferons. Next, question number 21. Name the type of antibody present pro produced during allergy. So what is the name of the antibody? IgE. Then write the name of the toxic substance responsible for fever and chill in malaria. It is hemozoin. Next, 23rd question. What is innate immunity? Mention any two types of innate immunity. Innate immunity is non-specific type of defense that is present at the time of birth. Physical barriers, physiological barriers, cellular barriers, cytokine barriers are the types of innate immunity. Mention the type of antibody present in the cholesterol. Produced during allergy is IgE. Antibody that is present in the cholesterol, the first milk that is produced by a lactating mother immediately after the delivery, that is IgE. Next, what is biopsy test? You know, a biopsy test is a very important test done to identify the disease, a very important disease called cancer. Mention any two techniques of cancer detection and diagnosis. What is biopsy test? A thin piece of the suspected tissue is stained and examined under microscope. So you can call it as histopathological study, which is otherwise called as what? Biopsy test. Now what are the two techniques of cancer detection? How do you detect that the person is having cancer? Either through radiography, CT scan, that is computerized tomography, then MRI that is magnetic resonance imaging and use of antibodies and techniques of molecular biology. This is a very important question from examination point of view. This is usually asked in the question. Like if you can go through the previous question papers, you will find that this is one such question which is repeatedly asked because this is a very important concept pertaining to this particular chapter called human health and diseases. Moving on to question number 26. Mention the types of carcinogens with an example for each. Physical carcinogens, chemical carcinogens and biological carcinogens. Physical carcinogens, what are the examples you are going to give? Ionizing radiations like X-rays and gamma rays and non-ionizing radiations like UV rays. Then chemical carcinogens, the chemicals that are released through tobacco smoke, industrial chemicals like vinyl chloride, arsenic, nickel compounds, azodice, etc. Biological carcinogens, the virus, uh, viruses causing cancer are called oncogenic viruses with oncogenes. Next question number 27. From which plant morphine is extracted? It is extracted from Papaver somniferum or which is commonly called as what? Poppy plant. So these are the common questions which are repeatedly asked. Question number 20, 28. List any two methods of HIV transmission. This is a very, very important question which is usually asked because AIDS is one such disease which is communicable and what, what are the beliefs, the wrong beliefs that we have about this spread of HIV. So we should have that correct information about how this HIV 
uh, transmission takes place. So first number, sexual contact with infected person. Sexual contact not with a, a healthy person. Then transfusion of contaminated blood and blood products. Sharing infected needles as intravenous drug users. So there might be drug users who keep changing or uh, uh, will sharing the infected needle. So it is also one means of HIV transmission. From infected mother to the fetus through placenta, if a mother is carrying, then organ transplantation, very important, from an infected donor to the recipient. So all these are the methods of HIV transmission, which is a very important question which is asked in the examination. Next. Question number 29, differentiate between active immunity and passive immunity, define alliance. So this is a split question, which is asked for three marker question. So differentiate between active immunity and passive immunity is for two mark and define allergy is for one mark. So how do we explain the active immunity and passive immunity? Active immunity developed due to exposure to infection. Passive immunity, the immunity developed due to injection of ready-made antibodies then it is slow and takes time to give its full effective response. It shows immediate response. It provides lifelong immunity. It provides temporary immunity. Memory cells are produced for a long time immunity. Here memory cells are not produced. The antibodies produced are harmless. Here the antibodies which are injected are sometimes harmful. So these are the, so it is for two marker question. Any four important points or differences you are supposed to right for the differences between active immunity and passive immunity. What is the next split question? Define allergy for one marker question. Allergy means what? The exaggerated response of the immune system to certain antigens present in the environment is called allergy. Moving on to question number 30. Name the enzyme by which HIV genome replicates in the host cell. The answer is reverse transcriptase. Name the disease diagnosed by viral test. So the common test that is done to identify uh, typhoid is called as what? Viral test. That is typhoid. Mention any three characters of cancer cells. This is also very important and it is for three marker question. So what are the characters of cancer cells? Very, very important is they undergo rapid mitotic cell, uncontrolled cell division. There is no control over cell division, which is called as what? Neoplasia. There is no cell differentiation, that is formation of abnormal cells. The, there is no cell differentiation, it is called anaplasia. There is no regulation of gene expression. There is no contact inhibition. What do you mean by contact inhibition? Mutual contact between newly formed cells does not inhibit fresh cell division. So obviously it will start so the neighboring cells will start multiplying, whereas this happens in normal cells. Normal cells will inhibit the growth of unwanted cells around it. Contact inhibition is exhibited there. There is no contact inhibition here. Cells are metastatic. That is, they tend to invade and spread the surrounding tissues and organs. This is also a very important question from examination point of view. Moving on to question number 33. Name the diagnostic test for AIDS. Viral test is for typhoid. Then what is the name of the test that is done to diagnose AIDS? It is called ELISA test. How do you expand ELISA? Enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. Moving on to the question number 34. Name the pathogen vector and symptom of malaria. This is for three marker question. So you need to mention the pathogen. Pathogen is a disease causing or vector, the agent which is responsible for carrying and symptom of malaria. Pathogen is Plasmodium vivax. Okay, Plasmodium malaria palsiparum is very, very chronic. Then vector is by biting of infected female anopheles mosquito. Symptoms, high fever and chill. Fever occurs on every alternate day and warm, along, followed by vomiting. Question number 35. What is contact inhibition? Mention the types of tumors. Contact inhibition already I told. Cancer cells do not exhibit contact inhibition. What is it? It's process by which normal cells by contact with other cells inhibit their growth process. What are the two types of tumors? Benign tumor and malignant tumor. Question number 36. Mention the cells involved in cell mediated immunity, T lymphocytes. Then question number 37. What is benign tumor? A benign tumor is a mass of cells that lacks the ability to invade 
I, I told you, you know, benign tumor is localized, whereas malignant tumor is not localized. Malignant tumor starts invading the surrounding areas or the organs. This will not invade neighboring tissue or metastasis normally remain confined to, to, to their original location. Hope you all have understood the important concepts what I have discussed in this particular revision session of a very important chapter that is human health and diseases of second PUC biology. I have tried my best to make you all understand the type of questions that will be asked from this particular concepts of this chapter called human health and diseases. Thank you.